Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our video overview of the new toolbox widget number 42 called the Image Carousel Slider. So what this is, is it's an image slider, but the real difference with this compared to the default image sliders in Muse is that this one shows the beginning of the next image and actually the end of the previous image on the sides. So that's why we call it a carousel because it just goes around and around and you can see these images all the time. These are actually really popular on the web. Uh, there's a really nice one on the site Harry's, which is a men's shaving site. And I saw this one a while ago and I thought it was pretty awesome. I'll show you what it looks like here. So if you scroll down to their factory page, they've got this nice carousel here and they just use it to show images of their factory and that sort of thing. So it's a really slick widget and it's really simple to set up. There's not that much to it. So let's go ahead and build this in Muse and show you how it works. So if we jump back into Muse, you can see that we have number 42, which is our carousel slider. Let's just drag that out onto the page. Okay, and I'll just hide this menu here. So we get this little preview that says Carousel Slider by Muse Themes. This isn't going to update. Now a slider like this, unfortunately you don't get a great in-app preview, but at the very least you have this image to kind of guide you for rough placement within your site. So let's bring up the flyout panel here and we'll take a look at the options. I'll just move this over a little bit so we can see it. So just to start at the top here, it says that we have some image height and scrolling duration control. So these are kind of to set up the slider initially. So for the image height, we are going to set this to match the size of the images that we've built for the slider. So I went ahead and before I did this demo, I went into InDesign and I set up a whole bunch of images here. So I actually built these images at, let's have a look. 990 pixels wide by 380 pixels high. So you can use any height you want, but we do recommend, uh, it says on the widget here, to use a minimum of 990 pixels wide. That's just so that we can actually have them extend nice and wide on the canvas. So I outputted all of those images that I created in InDesign, and we first need to add them to the Muse site for upload. So let's click File, and as, Add Files for Upload. And you can see I've just named them Carousel 1 to 5. So let's just add those like that. Okay, so now all of our assets should be in the assets panel here in Mute, so it's good to go. So let's go ahead and get this slider all set up. So we can specify the image height. I'm going to set this at 380, which is what I built the images to. Now we have scrolling duration and scrolling speed. So the duration is how long each slide is going to appear for. So right now this is set for three seconds. And the scrolling speed is how fast each slide is going to transition. So let's set this for say 500, which is basically half a second. Now we have the ability to turn on and off automatic scrolling, which just means the gallery is going to scroll by itself unless a user or without a user interacting. So we'll leave that turned on. The next area we have here is where we actually input our image names. So it uh, has a small recommendation that do not use capital letters, spaces, or special characters. Those can break the links. Um, another thing to note here is that you must use four or more images to enable scrolling. The reason for this is because if you think about a carousel like this, you basically can see three images on one screen. So without having a fourth image, the, the image before and the image after should be the same, but they're technically not. So we really need a fourth image to be able to carousel around throughout the four. Now there is something that is really cool that happens if you only use two images, and I'll show you that at the end of this video. But for now, let's leave this set to, I'm just gonna set it to four, and let's go ahead and put our names in here. So we had carousel1.jpg, I'm just gonna copy that so I can paste it in the rest of the boxes. Okay, and then we've got two, three, and four. Okay, perfect, so we've got our images in. The next area that we have some setup options are the ability to show or hide the previous and next buttons. So those are the buttons obviously to click through the gallery. And we have a couple options here. We have the default buttons, which just come with the widget. And I'll show you what those look like first. So let me put this back in the center here. Let's preview the page in the browser and see how we're looking. Okay, so the gallery looks good, looks like it's set up correctly. So these are what the default buttons look like. They're just circles with kind of the forward and back arrows in them. So they're quite nice and you can style them up as you need. So let's go back and Muse here. And as you can see here, we can change the color of the, those buttons. We can change the hover color, the opacity, all of that. 
Now let's say we don't want to use those. We made something custom. I actually made some custom buttons already. So we need to add those for upload, just like we did with our other images. And I have two buttons here. One's called next.png and one's called back.png. So let's add those two. And now they're in the assets panel. Yes, they are. So we'll go back into the widget flyout panel here. We're going to change this to custom image buttons. And let's change those to back.png and next.png. Okay. And now let's preview this and see if they've applied to the widget. Okay, so now you can see our buttons are completely different here. And these are images. So you can design those buttons as you need. Okay, let's look at the final setup options here in Muse. So we have the ability to show the pagination dots. Basically, those are the dots below the slider that show what area in the gallery you're on. So these dots right here. So you can actually click and jump to say the fourth image or back to the first, whatever you want to do. So you can hide those dots if you don't want to use them by just clicking this checkbox here or you can change of course the dot color and you can actually move the dot position so right now it's set to be below the gallery but if you wanted to have it say on the gallery and off to the left side then let's preview that and I'll show you how it changes there so now you can see the dots are on the left side of the gallery and they just stay positioned there the whole time so I prefer them underneath which is why I had it set up that way initially but you can change them as needed so it's a really simple widget to set up and I think it looks great on the site. So here's a cool little trick to this. If we set this to only two images, watch what happens. If we preview the site in the browser, we actually get the two images set up and they span at 50% width. So you see this on a lot of sites and actually on the Harry site here, we have something similar to that where we've got these two equal boxes on each side. So you can do that with this widget by just setting two images and leaving them set like that. We're not going to get any scrolling and they actually take up perfectly 50% of the browser. So it's a cool little trick and it was just a nice kind of side effect of setting the widget with those settings. But otherwise, if you want to have a nice scrolling gallery, I would recommend you do four or more images. So that is the carousel image slider gallery. I hope you enjoy it. And this is our first release. So if you run into any bug fixes or issues, please let us know and we'll get it fixed up right away. Thanks again and enjoy. Cheers.